Okay, so um, for a long time, I didn't have a smartphone or any I, like technology at home to be able to work on this stuff. And before we had it in class, I just had to, you know, hopefully go to a library and get the online work done. And if I didn't do that, I just have to handwrite everything. But having like this stuff, like the Chromebooks and that, it's really nice because then you can actually get work done in class and you don't have to worry about it when you get home. And so with more of your work being collaborative, how would that have worked if you didn't have a Chromebook? Um, well, it made things a lot more difficult. Yeah, it's pretty hard when you have to, um, you know, talk to someone and like you may only have like, say texting, like while with like um, classroom stuff, you can actually see what everyone's doing at the same time. And we can work multiple at the same time instead of texting and seeing what they've already done and not being sure if they messed up with Chromebooks. If you have a shared document, you can help out and see what they're doing wrong and kind of help them out a little bit. It's a lot easier to help each other too. Yeah. So it sounds like taking them from class to class is an issue. Having them in class is helping get work done real time. Um, and if we were able to supply to kids every student with a device that they could take home, would that be a good investment? I think it would be a lot helpful because sometimes if, like for the kids who don't have devices at home or they have to rely on a library, a lot of times that's the case everywhere. So everyone who's at the library, sometimes there's not enough computers there or they don't have enough time on the computers there. But if they can go somewhere that has Wi-Fi, which is now everywhere, it'd be easier to just have a device. And that's one issue that comes up is, so we can give kids devices, but some, place, some kids live where they're maybe they don't have Wi-Fi in their home or we can't even get it there because they're pretty rural. Do you think that if students had devices, they could find a place to get Wi-Fi? There's Wi-Fi literally everywhere. So they could like go to Starbucks and not have to worry yeah. about waiting at night. Because there's places that are open late enough where li like my library closes at 6 o'clock every evening and I don't have Wi-Fi at home right now that works. So it's easy to go places, but not if you don't have a device. Yeah, because most restaurants and stuff now are, are like having mobile hotspots where you can go and like sit down on the laptop and work on something. Of course, they usually make you buy something, like so just buy like a burger or something, and then you can work for like two hours. So yeah, that's really nice. Also, another thing that I thought was really nice is like if you have textbooks and you lose them, that's like three hundred bucks, and times that by three, that's nine hundred dollars. Well, one of these, I'm guessing, is not nine hundred dollars, so it'd be a lot cheaper if say you lost this compared to three textbooks. Yeah, so that's a funny point that, yeah, the textbooks are more expensive than the technology at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm not doing very good at holding this.